Move over Tyler Perry, a black woman will own a 135 multi-million dollar production studio in Atlanta. Uh, folks, this story came out a couple days ago and the link I am using is blackenterprise.com. I will leave a link to this full article in the comment section below as I do with pretty much any video I do regarding some sort of interview article or, you know, full on video going into um, the career or, you know, the past of a particular actor or somebody who works behind the camera. Uh, yes, Tammy Williams, who has over 25 years of experience in the film and television industry and has written for a variety of projects such as films, biographies, documentaries, entertainment, and network news, according to her biography on IMDb. Um, she owned her first digital production company called Tammy Delay Film in 2016 and is now the first black woman to own a $135 million studio and post-production facility in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, okay. Uh, she has a business partner named uh, Gary Gidry, and he's an investor and CEO of G Square Events and Black Promoters Collective, and also founded Cinema South Studios. Tammy says, we've been patient. This has not been an overnight thing, this vision for us. She's been working towards making her dream a reality for about 12 years now. Now, in March, they will be breaking ground for Cinema South Studios, which will be located north of Fayette County. The studio will occupy 60 acres and intends to have 11 sound stages. Okay, now a back lot, a prop house, a wardrobe rental facility, and a lighting grip rental house. The production facility will include a transportation company and an office building to house a theater and post-production facilities. Uh, Williams aims to have two sound stages operatable by the first quarter of 2023. This is what I'm talking about here. And the article continues to go on breaking down different plans that, um, you know, Tammy and her partner Gary have for this uh, particular studio. But this is just great to see that, you know, it isn't just Tyler Perry in Atlanta who has such a, um, you know, humongous film studio. We see yet another black person, a black woman at that, about to start her own production studio as well. And I'm interested to see, you know, the kind of projects that will be coming out there from the studio lot i'm actually going to go ahead and pull up her imdb and if you're curious the article itself has a um hyperlink which will take you directly to the uh breakdown of her imdb bio page here and let's see here it actually says that she was featured on black enterprises our world television television show she's also appeared in tom joiner's little known black history facts and she was selected as Fayette Woman in February 2016 and graced a magazine cover. She's also an award-winning producer, motivational speaker, and CEO. It seems that she's also um, had some interviews. Let's see, her most inspirational interviews were with Motown's Barry Gordy and Russell Simmons. Okay, I might have to check those out when I have the free time. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Yeah, uh, again, a black woman making moves in Atlanta. I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. So, with that being said, one more time, just in case you want to look at it for yourself, a link to the article will be in the comment section below. Uh, thanks to everyone who sent this um, information my way. Seriously, I mean, the headline itself, Move Over Tyler Perry, is like, okay, now what's going on here? But uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Take a moment and hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all. That way you do not miss out whenever I post content on the channel. If notifications aren't coming through, you may need to unsubscribe from the channel. Then hit subscribe again and hit the bell. That should work. And if you would like to donate, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.